Greetings, I'm Bubblefish, and this is Bubble Vehicles 0.1 Beta Data Pack Showcase. So first things first, to spawn a vehicle, you type slash function bubble v spawn, and then the name of the vehicle, for instance, bike. Right now I have only bikes available, unfortunately. First is optimization part. If you step away from the vehicle 10 blocks or further, it won't load for you and neither for the server. It means that it's not pro being processed. So it's a very good thing about this data pack that it does not require much perform performance from your PC or from your server. Second part is ownership. It means that every vehicle is owned by some player. First player ever sit on the vehicle will be set as owner and get a message that says the same thing. And there are a couple of things that only owner of vehicle can do that I will show soon. Controlling the vehicle is maybe the simplest part here. To control you simply use WASD, your default keys on your keyboard to move. W to accelerate forward, S to accelerate backwards, A to turn to the left, D to turn to the right, the same as you move your character. While driving you also can hear the sound of the vehicle and everyone can. Uh, this sound changes with your speed, faster you are, more frequently and more high-pitched sound will be just like in real life. Also every vehicle has inventory in it. For instance, bike has only three slots, but it's just a bike. It cannot have a lot of items in it, unfortunately. You can put any stuff here and inventories are not that simple. For instance, I will put something in first slot, I will leave the vehicle, I will shift and right click and I will see nothing in it. Because I made it so no one can steal your items. That is pretty cool that your items are completely safe. When you get back to the vehicle, press E, you get your stuff back. But still, anyone can ride your vehicle and access your items, which is not cool. That's why you can lock your vehicle. To do so, you're just getting on it and you're typing trigger vehicle dot lock. Now your vehicle is locked and you still can drive it, you can do whatever you want, but no one can access your vehicle at all. Which is cool, it means your items are safe, your vehicles are safe, it will also be at the same location where you left it and no one can steal it from you. For example, here is a vehicle that does not belong to me and it's locked and when I right click it just says it's, this vehicle is locked and I cannot ride it or open or steal any stuff. So this is a cool thing, but what about painting your vehicle? To do so you need a leather item, it may be any piece of armor, for example helmet, chest plate, leggings, boots, you're just painting them in crafting bench or with a command anyhow. For example, I will make, oh, for instance, this color. You're just crafting it. Then you're getting close to your own vehicle. You must own your vehicle to access the paint command. You're typing trigger vehicle dot paint. And here you go. Now your vehicle is more unique. And it's so cool because of how many different colors you can have in your vehicle. For example, you have 10 vehicles and you have a store and someone bought your vehicle. So how do you give away your vehicle? So you just sit on your vehicle and to whom you want to give your vehicle away should step close to you. Remember that it will give away to the nearest player. Then you type trigger vehicle.give keys you will see the warning message because you will lose your vehicle after giving away. Also it says the name of the player to whom you will give away your keys. You're pressing confirm and now you don't own this vehicle. Also you might mention the entity health bar. 
this is not just a thing. This is actually your fuel level. So you lose your fuel level while you're driving. And faster you're driving, more fuel you lose. Slower you're driving, or if you're not even driving, less you lose, of course. When you completely run out of fuel, let me simulate that. Here we go. When you run out, you cannot accelerate anymore. You're just stopping and you need to refuel the vehicle. To do so, you need a piece of fuel, of course. And the interesting part is that the, the fuel actually can be changed to any item by modifying a file. Let me just show you which file I mean. Data pack folder. For instance, right now I have a zip archive. So to modify it, I will better I will extract it, just right click extract here, then I go inside, you go to data, bubble vehicles, tags, items, fuel. So you're opening this file and here you see the list of items that can refuel any vehicle. You can add new ones, you can replace existing ones, delete them. For example, you don't want coal to refuel any vehicle, so you're just deleting it. I will leave call as fuel for now and so you go back and any player around can just type trigger refuel and refuel your vehicle with the item you specified in the file and to remove the vehicle first you can do is, is just send it to the water for instance or you can just type function bubv kill and the name of the vehicle it will kill the nearest vehicle that around you.